Hi guys, in this video we will see how to put files from one system to another for printing. So let's say I am going through an article on the internet and I want to take a print out of it. But I don't have any printer installed onto my system. So what all options do I have at this time? So my first option is to go to a system which has a printer installed, open the same article there and print the article from there. My second option would be to take a screenshot. So let's see how to do that. So let's search for an article on Wikipedia. So let's suppose this is an article that I want to print. But at this time I don't have any printer installed onto my system. So I will take a screenshot of this, of this article, paste it as in jpg and port the jpg file to a system that has a printer installed. The issue with this approach is that if an article is long, it may not fit within a screenshot. So let's suppose I take a screenshot of this article. The content that does not fit in my screenshot will not be available for the print. My third option would be to save this page as an HTML file and port the HTML file and its supporting file to a system that has a printer installed. Now let's see that in action. Go to file save page as let's save the page as an html file now click on save so here we have the web page available with us so along with the web page there will be a folder with the same name that will contain all the helping files that are needed by the web page So if you want to print this article, you have to put this file as well as the supporting files that are needed by this HTML file. So the issue with this approach is that you have to put all the necessary files required by this HTML file. For example, for example, the images. So all the files that are referenced by this page will have to be ported onto the system on which we have a printer installed. My fourth option would be to use an XPS format. So XPS stands for XML Paper Specification Format. So this is an open source format that is OS independent. So it will be available on Windows and Mac as well. So let's see how to print a file using XPS format. So let me delete all these files. And since we are printing this article here, so let's go to file, click on print and select Microsoft XPS document writer from this drop down. And now click on OK. So it will ask you location where to save this document. So let's give it a name. And click on save. So it is taking some time to save because this article is big. So this article is near around 33 pages and here we have the XPS file with us. So if I double click this, so this will give me the same content that we were trying to print. So when you port your file from one system to another to take a print, you just have to port this single file. 
and this XPS format is interoperable within the OS. So you can create this XPS file on Windows and open the XPS file on Mac and vice versa. And when you are porting the file from one system to another, this is the single file that you need to port. So this is the advantage that we get with the XPS files. Thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day.